Hello and welcome to the latest Pokemon team building video. This is on Pokemon Showdown, the link to which will be in the description before I say anything else because I've had two people now say, I know right, two, it's a lot, but two people have asked me what this is. It's PokemonShowdown.com. You can also download it so that you can like link it as a shortcut and you can load it up on your computer just fine. Brilliant software, battle simulation, everything, can make teams for Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. Just feel like I need to get that out of the way. But today, we are rocking out with Ditto. An amazing Pokemon. Why is it in PU? We're bringing it into the NU tier, and it's just going to destroy everything. We're going to jump straight into this. It moves. Oh, we have so many options. We can make it transform, uh, transform, transform, transform. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it gets transformed. It's pretty good. And we're gonna give it a choice scarf so that we can always outspeed. With its ability, Imposter, it will transform into the opposing Pokemon. When it does this, it also copies stat changes. So, say they have an agility up, you copy that agility. They have a sword stance up, you copy that sword stance, and with the choice scarf, you are always going to outspeed them unless the Pokemon itself is Choice Scarfed, then it will be a speed tie. But because of that, its EV spread's gonna be a little bit different to what it normally would be. We just max the, H we, we max the HP. Well, no, in this case, we give it 248 HP, so that it's not quite 300, so we take less Stealth Rock damage and Spikes damage. That's the basic gist of it. The rest of the points, it really doesn't matter where they go, it, it really doesn't. You just put the points wherever you feel like. So, let's say I want Jolly, it, it doesn't matter. These stats will all be copied, other than the HP. And we'll make you shiny, because blue, blue is adorable. So, making a team around Ditto is quite a hard thing to do. It's very difficult to make a team around a Pokemon that doesn't stay a single type. So, we're just going to go straight into wanting something with Switch Initiative to help out with the team, rather than go straight into our cause. So we're gonna go into Swellow. I thought about this long and hard, how I was gonna do this, and this is how I'm, I'm gonna do it. So we're gonna give Swellow a Toxicol, because it gets Guts and it, oh, 1.5 times attack on base 85. It's, it could be higher, but it's, it's a nice bonus. It's a very nice bonus. So you get U-Turn. This means that we will get Switch Initiative on the team, and that is important. Don't know why I'm clapping so much today. I'm having a great time clapping. And we will give you Brave Bird and Facade, because Facade will also benefit from the Toxic Orb. So you will be base 140 stab to 210. So 210 base power, essentially. Guts boosted. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna really hurt. And for a last move, we have three offensive moves. We'd like something for utility. Some people like to run Heat Wave. And I can see that. I can see Heat Wave. I can see why that would be useful. It hits Steel types that you're walled out by. But I think I'm just going to run Protect. Just so I can always activate my Toxic Orb straight away into the battle. Rather than have awkward situations where I'm in against something I don't want to be in against. And I'm just having to use Brave Bird against something that's not great, just so I can get my to Toxic Orb to activate. I don't like that, so I'm going to run Protect just so I can activate that. Its defenses are very paper thin though, that is something to keep in mind. I am not taking a hit. 60, 50, 60 HP, that's, that's not great. It's your shiny form like. Nah, we're going to keep you normal. You're nice normal. So now I want to build my core around the Switch Initiative Swellow, rather than running the core around Ditto. Which, yes, that kind of makes the team around Swellow a little bit, but at the same time, it's difficult to make a team around such a monster like Ditto, because it can be anything. Just feel like that point really needs to be emphasised. Very difficult to do. So, Swellow is weak to Rock, Ice, and Electric. I think, I think that's it, because it's not weak to fighting, because flying balances with the normal typing. Yep, okay, rock, ice, and electric. So we are looking for something that is imme preferably immune to one of them. I don't think we can get that. Uh, we can get... 
Ice and electric. Rock, ice and electric. That is hard to cover. Um, we can go with patches. Patches resists ice. Has great special defense, great HP, bulky. Can be immune to electric. And can hit super effective against rock, although it doesn't resist it. That seems really good. So we'll keep you with Vol Absorb so that you are immune to the electric. We'll instantly rename you Patches because I forget you're even called Lantern sometimes. We'll give you leftovers. And we will give you Scald so that you can burn things that you don't like. We'll give you Ice Beam because we're going to freeze everything. Just wait, it's going to happen. And we will give you Volt Switch, so we can have both Switch initiative. We can have U-Turn and Volt Switch on this team, which is great. And finally, we can run... Hmm. Do we run Heal Bell? Do we make you a Cleric? Or do we give you... Why can you add Sucker Punch? That's so weird. I don't like it. <laughs> we can give you Thunder Wave for utility to slow things down. I like that. I like that a lot. So max HP, max special defense, Calm Nature, I believe. Yep, Calm Nature. Add four points into your special attack. 454 HP. That is bulky. That's good. Um, so Patches join the team. Something that can counterpart defensively to Patches. So now we need to look for all well, your weaknesses, Patches. You're weak to ground because of your electric weak, your electric typing, and you're weak to grass. And you're not weak to electric, so yeah, just ground and grass. So a grass type would be good. A defensive grass type. Cacturn, your defense is a paper fin. Cradilly, you're, you're not bad. I'll keep you in the back of my mind. Um, Bug would also work, so Crustle could work, but you're neutral to both of them because of your rock typing. Yeah, rock typing isn't going to work, Cradilly, you'll be neutral to both of those. Uh, Ludicolo, you're specially defensive, not physically defensive. Shiftry, a defensive big fin. Torterra. Torterra, you have really great defense, you're a great defensive wall. You, do, you don't resist grass, but Swallow does, and Swallow's immune to ground. Swallow and Patches go really well together. Well, I think we'll add Torterra to the team. Um, we will give you... You can add Stealth Rock. This team's working out really well, actually, because we have U-Turn, we have Bolt Switch, we have Stealth Rocks up now, and we have great type coverage. I'm liking this. So we'll give you Earthquake to hit heavy on the physical side. We'll give you Leech Seed. You do get Leech Seed, right? Yep, you get Leech Seed just to wear them down slowly, and now we do get walled out by other Torterras. We get walled out by grass types, to be honest. So we want something that can hit grass types kinda well. I'm tempted to run Crunch, because it hits steel. Well, actually, I think it's steel, but it would hit, it would hit a lot of things. A lot of grass types. Do you have anything specifically for grass types? Ah. We could give you Toxic. That way Leech Seed would always hit anything that isn't a grass type. And if it's grass and poison, Earthquake would be neutral. And if it's not grass and poison, then they're not immune to the Toxic. That works really well. If you understood what I just said, well done. <laughs> But basically, this will allow us to always be able to use Leech Seed. Leech Seed is walled out by grass types. So, the two typings that would stop us between Leech Seed and Toxic would be Poison types, because they are immune to Toxic, and Steel type, because they are immune to Toxic, and both of which get hit neutrally by Earthquake. So that works really, really well. I like that. I like that a lot. And we will also give you Leftovers as well. Uh, hidden ability. I don't know if your hidden ability is actually in the game, but if it is, that's really good. Cannot be hit by a crit. I get crit a lot. And we do not have any grass attacks, so yep, we're gonna... I will check to see if that is actually a thing. We will name you... Um... 
I don't have a name for you yet, I'll come back to that. Now it now it gets difficult. Because we did just pick up a four times ice weakness that I've just realised. And Swallow is weak to ice, and that's not good. So we need a typing that resists ice. We have patches that resist ice, but we need something else. We really need something else. Or, oh, we could run an ice type. Cryogonal, your defense is paper thin. Jinx, your defense is paper thin. Pyloswine, your special defense is paper thin. Articuno, you're four times weak to rock, I'm not doing that. Uh, I might run Jinx. Anyone who's watched the Emerald Randomizer that's on my channel will know that I have a really bad history with Jinx. And it's pre-evolution. But I think we're gonna try running Jinx. I wish your attack and defense were swapped around, I really do. Now, we'll give you dry skin just in case there's rain up, who knows, it might happen. And what do we even give you? I've never really ran it. you get fake out? And drain punch? Why do you get why do you get physical moves? Stop. <laughs> but we'll give you ice ice beam, definitely. And we'll give you Psy Shock. We could run Nasty Plot. Oh, we are running Nasty Plot and we are running Focus Sash. Yep. 100 percent in that case, we're going to run Oblivious, not Dry Skin, just in case they have the sun up and the Dry Skin takes us away from our Focus Sash, that'd be horrible. And I think we'll give you Focus Blast. That seems like such a weird set. Am I walled out by anything? Um, Psyshock's walled out by Dark Types. Ice Beam... I don't think I am. I think we can run that. That's not too bad. And we'll make you a fast special sweeper. Yes, we will. That is that is powerful. And you are being called Nikki from my randomizer. Now we need something to round out the team. We have stealth rocks up. I'm not incredibly annoyed if they get rocks up. I might even put defog on Swallow. So I'm just looking for something that will round out the team nicely. Doesn't add too many weaknesses. We have two fire weaknesses, two ice weaknesses. So as long as we aren't doubling up on those, I don't mind what it is. So we could use something that... Well, you're gonna be either. We have physical, special, physical, special. So it doesn't matter if it's physical or special. In terms of whether it's gonna attack or not. We have both of our cores, we have... This is looking really solid, actually. I would like something with Rapid Spin. That might be pushing it a little bit too far. I might just go with something that can hit hard. I might go with Sword. It's got good defenses, it's got sturdy so it can always live a hit. It's reasonably fast, it's got base 125 attack, it's looking really good. I think I'm gonna run Sword. It's weak to Psychic, which doesn't add any weaknesses. Weak to flying, which uh, Torterra is also weak to. I think that's it, and it's fighting stab, which is my favourite stab. So I think we're gonna rock out with Sork. Do we have anyone who has choice yet? Toxicorp, leftovers, leftovers, focus sash. Your choice, Scar. Um. What moves do you get before I add an item? Let's let's have a look at some things. You get close combat. Definitely running that. You get knockoff. Definitely running that. Poison jab. That's tempting. You get stone edge. I'm gonna run that. Ice. We have ice covered. We have ice covered between Nikki and Patches. Um, do we run poison jab for fairies? We don't have anything for fairies yet. Or we could run fire punch. For um, Ferris Seeds. Eevee Light Ferris Seeds are in this tier. But Eevee Light Ferris Seeds can be hit just as hard by close combat, if not harder, so that's, a, that's not needed. 
Do we need Thunder Punch for water types? No, because we've patches that can deal with water types. So yeah, I think we're just going to run Poison Jab for Fairies. And we'll make you fast, not LP. 252, we'll hit a 4. No, we want you to be as fast as possible so that we can hopefully get two attacks off. Because in this tier, base 85 isn't too bad. And I would run Life Orb, but that would be make that would completely get rid of the point of having Sturdy. We could run Assault Vest, but again, that kind of gets rid of the point of having Sturdy. We could run Lumberry. We could run Lumberry to get Swords Dance. You don't get Swords Dance. That's annoying. You look like the sort of Pokemon that would be able to get Sword Stance. Hmm. Did I see Counter? I kind of want Counter. Counter could be fun, but no, we won't do that. I think we're going to run Lumberry. Life Orb is tempting, but Lumberry seems the most useful. So Lumberry on Sork. Um, we are naming you Mojo, because I feel like that just works for fighting types. Torterra. Um, I'm really struggling. I would name it Terra, but I name my Sand Slash Terra. Couldn't name it Terra anyway. It'd be called Terra anyway. And Swallow. Swallow. I may call you. Hang on. How do I spell it? I'm gonna call you Aerial Ace. You look like an Aerial Ace. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means, but it looks like an Aerial Ace. How about that? So, that is the team we are running with. Have I got EV sets on all of them? Is there anyone who I want to be shiny? Torterra, what do you look like shiny? Nah. Nah, mate, you're not being shiny. Jinx? You're staying as you are, you just turn weird. Sork? No one really changes that much when they're shiny. Okay. Everyone has their correct EV sets, everyone has their correct move sets, especially the best move set. It wins. So we will quickly validate the team just to make sure it's okay. It's all valid for NU. So this is the team for this week. Tomorrow, the battles will be up for this team. I'm probably going to do four battles. Three or four battles. I don't know, I haven't recorded it yet. Who knows? I'm only just making a team. But... If you are hyped, leave a like down below. If there's any changes you want you would make to the team, feel free to tell me in the comments section. I'm always open to hearing changes that are willing to be made. There's probably something that could be changed. If you think something could be different on the sword, for example, go ahead, tell me. There's perfect coverage that I'm missing. Tell me. I'm still learning. But without further ado, bye!